Oh, hello. Me here to help. You know, we could talk about anything, but cookies always make conversation better. What's on your mind? Hey there, it's Ella from Spline, and you just met Cookie Monster, who was created in Spline using our new AI voice assistant feature. Hi there, viewers. Thanks for tuning in. This feature enables seamless integration with OpenAI's real-time API for conversational experiences. In today's tutorial, we are going to show you how you can add this to an avatar in Spline. So without further ado, let's get started. We want to start off this tutorial with this simple character. As you can see, it's made with very simple shapes like for the eyes, the glass sphere for the body, and inside of the body it has all these moving colorful parts. This is done by using these different color spheres that are animated slightly. If we look behind the curtain, we can see in this state, we set the Y rotation to negative 360 degrees, while in the other state, it remains at zero. There is a start event with a transition applied that's set to 10 seconds on the time here. And if we go down, we can see that loop is set to infinite. So our animation goes on and on. When we place these colorful spheres inside of the glass sphere, it ends up looking like this. Very simple and pretty magical. The blur effect comes from the glass texture on the outer sphere, which is something that you can play around with to get your desired effect. You can fine tune this by going to the glass layer and adjusting the blur and other properties to even make it more blurry. And finally, we just added two rectangle shapes here for the eyes and that's pretty much it. Really simple. With something as simple as a sphere, you can create a very charming virtual assistant. So we have our avatar, let's connect our character to the OpenAI so it can respond to voice in real time. First, make sure to deselect everything by pressing escape. Then scroll down a bit here and let's go to variables and data. Click on the four dot icon. At the top, you'll see a window open with variables, web hooks, and APIs. Click on APIs. Then go to the plus icon and click on it again. Scroll down and select the new option, which will be AI Voice Assistant. And then in this window, you can choose the voice type. You can customize it, give your character instructions and trigger additional actions. But before moving forward, it's important to tell you that this is a new integration with OpenAI exclusively. And to use it, you will need a paid account and an open API key. You can do a monthly subscription or pay as you go. If you're unsure on how to create this open API key, we've linked the documentation down below for more information. Once you're logged into the platform, go to your dashboard and under the API key, you can select create a new secret key. Here you can give your key a name, select the project and adjust the permissions. Then just click on create secret key and you are set. This is a secret key that you should save and keep in a safe place. And for security, you will not be able to view it again. So make sure you put it somewhere safe. Click copy and now you can paste this key into Spline. Now what we can do is go back to the API section here, hit the plus icon. Now select AI voice assistant. Let's select a default voice. Let's use Echo. I'm not going to change any of the instructions here. And let's paste our key. Great, and let's hit play mode. Hello. Hi there. I'm excited to help you test real-time voice capabilities. You can add more events and interactivity to make this assistant feel even more dramatic and engaging. A great option for this is using the look at event, which is so simple to apply. Just click on your character, create a new event, and then expand the options here and let's select look at. In this case, I'll select X to keep the character facing forward. And hey, it works. Hi there. 
How can I help you today? Now it looks so much more lively. Our character can speak and it has this charming interaction. To bring the character to life even more, let's add a subtle scaling effect that syncs with its voice. This way, the character will slightly grow and shrink in sync as they're speaking, adding a bit more personality. We can create a variable and combine it with our AI assistant listener and the AI voice spectrum. After grouping the character, I'm going to select the group. Then in the right panel, we'll create a new variable in scale by clicking on the plus icon here. Now I'll click on the other plus icon to create a new variable. For the name, we can use something like scale. Set the value to one and click create. Now we can see we have this new variable created. Let's apply it to the rest of the Y and Z scales to ensure that everything is changing in a uniform way. All right, done. This ensures that our variable is added to all of the axes. Next, let's create a new event. And we will scroll down until you find the AI assistant listener. Here we have various options and frequencies, like the average, range, and signal. In frequency, let's select average. And now let's create a new action here. Select set variable and in variable, let's choose the one we created earlier, name scale. In the expression field here, let's enter one plus AI voice spectrum. Now let's go back to play mode. Hello again. Hello, how can I help you today? So along with the responding, you can see that our character has this movement that's in sync with its voice. So let's give it even more of a try. How's it going? I'm doing well, thank you. How about you? I'm doing great. Just creating a virtual assistant in Spline. That's great to hear. Spline is a fantastic tool for creating 3D designs, including virtual assistants. You can design and animate your assistant right in your web browser. You can further personalize voices and create different styles by adjusting the instructions and personality settings here. For example, to create the voice of our beloved Cookie Monster, we use instructions like always speak like if you were the Cookie Monster character, or make sure you are very expressive, let everyone know how much you love cookies, even if the conversation is not about that, and so on. These things just give the AI the instruction to be the character that you want it to be. Be ready to help. What can me do for you today? Remember, me always love talking about cookies. Om nom nom. Hey, Cookie what? Monster. I made some cookies for my mom's birthday and I want to give them a fun name. They're chocolate chip. What would you call them? Oh, me love chocolate chip cookies. How about calling them Chocolaf Crunchers? That sound fun and delicious, like cookies should be. Om nom nom. What you think? I love that name, thanks so much. Next, let's talk about our AI assistant trigger. You can do even more exciting things like set up specific actions and trigger them using the AI assistant trigger. Let's do an example with this simple cube. So I already have my API key and everything is set up. What I'll do next is create two states adjusting the cube's position. Let's create a new event and let's create a new transition action here and we'll add AI assistant trigger. For example, if we want the AI to move the blue cube in our scene, we can describe the trigger event as move blue cube. So let's write that down here. Now let's go to play mode and say it out loud to give it a try. Move the blue cube. All right, let's move the blue cube. Here we go. The blue cube is on the move. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to do. 
Now let's set up a new event to make sure the AI returns our cube to its original position. Create a new event and repeat the same process. So in the transition, let's reverse the state. And up here we can say something like, if they ask you to go back to your initial position. Go back to your initial position. The blue cube is back to its initial position. What would you like to explore next? Another way we can use this is use it in combination with morph targets, which is another new feature that we're pretty excited about. If you have 3D models like GLB, FBX with morph targets, you can import them into Spline. The morph targets allow you to animate and change the shape of the 3D object by creating different versions of a base object, each with slight variations. For instance, for this virtual assistant, we imported it and manipulated the morph targets to create two states. The first state shows a casual facial animation or the normal mode, and then we created an angry expression using the morph targets. You can then smoothly blend between these versions to create animations, like changing the facial expressions or moving parts of an object. To achieve this, we use the AI Assistant trigger. We created a transition between each state and then instructed the AI here by saying, if you are asked to speak with anger or annoyance, do this. We also created another instruction for when the AI is asked to return to its normal state by saying, if you are asked to go back to normal, do this. Also change the value of the variable emotion anger to zero. So this way, if we ask the AI to respond in an annoyed way or an angry way or something along these lines, it will react accordingly. Could you show me what it looks like when you're angry? When expressing anger, the tone becomes more forceful and there's a noticeable intensity in the voice, like this. I can't believe this is happening. Wow, you're really good at that. Can you go back to neutral, please? I'm back to my usual self. How can I help you further? Let us know in the comments if you want a more detailed tutorial on more targets in Spline. We can make that happen in an upcoming video. All right, that's it for this tutorial. We hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions or want to share how you will use this new AI assistant feature, let us know down in the comments. And if you prefer not to design your own 3D and want something already built, check out the Spline library. All of those designs are commercial free, or you can discover remixable designs shared by talented creators in the Spline community. The design in today's tutorial was inspired by this beautiful design, which was shared in the Spline community by Big Long. We'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now. Oh, and hey, can you say goodbye to our friends? Bye bye. Me hope you have cookie filled day. Come back soon.